welcome. Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Tulsa Drillers taking on the Midland Rockhounds. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway, getting the nod in this one. Luis Medina, what do you look for here? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. That will elevate good. that and the then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Pickoff move to first. Pineda back in on a dive. Another move to first. And he's back in that time as well. Casey McKinley in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next pitch misses outside. And that's ball two. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And that's a base hit into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Batting four. No left field. So one out with two aboard. Chase Calabui, the next to hit. Ball to strike. The pitch. Two away down. Batting. The right. So two down now, and here is Greg Dykeman. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout, and hit the reset button. Play made. That ends the inning. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless here on the show. So up next, Yanni Hernandez. Oh, for one as he reached on an error his first time around. The pitch. And there he goes. Up the middle. Muncy. Fires over to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Now got The first base. Justin. And here is Casey McKinley. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Hey, come on, big dog. Can you pitch? Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. First and third, two away. Digging in, Chase Calabui checks over to first, back safely. That misses. Three and one now. Righty delivers, and that's in for a strike. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitter's got to stay focused on the pitch. Three, two. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Makes the catch. And that is that. On to the fourth, still scoreless. Know. 
And now the first baseman, Casey McKinley. Casey. Come on, baby. McKinley. Hey, your pitch, your pitch right now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Pineda at third with two away. Strike two. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Going to count oh. one and two. He's going right here. To the right side, and a base hit knocks in a run. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Runner at first with two away. Now the left fielder, Chase Calabui. 3-2. Swings through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. We're through five. The Rockhounds out front here, two nothing. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. Now it's going to be number four. You know, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The tying run at the plate. On the ground right side. McKinley takes it himself. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. That's why you hug the lines on the corners late in a ball game like this. Casey McKinley will hit next. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. And there's a the ball. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next pitch is outside. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. Next offering misses and that's ball three. Chase Calabui waits on deck. Ripped, but it curls foul. Oh, big guy. Right here. And the tying run is on base. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Lefty continues to work, but the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in, and there's two away. The right fielder, number six. Greg Dykeman digs in now. And things could change quickly here with one swing. Typically, the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. And one and two. Movement in the bullpen. Tyler Sear appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. At the belt and fires. That one is upstairs. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Into center. He's under it. And that is the inning.
after four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. You never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Schultz.